Today we are going to look at uh, Trashbot 4 um, and I want to work on the hips um, because the hips are still not uh, moving enough and so the idea is uh, to document this piece of work. So the basic problem is um, that the gate mechanism is relying on uh, two mechanisms. One is um, to tilt uh, the body in this direction and the second one is to move uh, the hips forward like this. Uh, and the logic is that you move like this and then um, move your hip forward uh, and then move back again and uh, move the hips uh, forward, both of them. And the problem is that um, the way that it can walk is basically depending on uh, this distance between the two uh, hip joints, uh, so that basically it's moving like that. And uh, my feeling is that the steps are uh, pretty small compared uh, to the feet because um, whenever this is moving uh, then you also lose some space here uh, so that the feet are actually uh, scratching each other and uh, so what we want to do is um, we want to enable the feet to walk in this direction so uh, there will be a servo going like that for this I have built a minimalistic uh, hip that is um, consisting of two servos here for the hips so that it can uh, walk like that um, in both directions as well as a third servo that is serving uh, the back because then um, the robot can move it's uh, back in this direction as well uh, because that was missing so that you can do a counter movement with the up, upper part uh, of the body um, compared to the gate that is moving like that with the hips and so this can basically keep um, the body straight in walk direction uh, whereas the lower part of the robot um, can actually move a bit in this direction so uh, today's gonna, uh, work is going to be around um, building this into a trash pot so that um, we have uh, replaced basically this plate. I didn't like it anyway. Um, and we'll build this into them so that we combine this servo for moving in that direction with this servo moving in that direction. Um, and we will have two degrees of freedom more in the feet and one degree of freedom uh, more. The problem is always to find the right connection between the stuff because I'm not using off-the-shelf servo brackets uh, which is making everything a bit more complicated but let's see what kind of solution we come up with. So that's the first try for today. With the hips attached to the legs. And now we need to try this out with uh, some software.